Well then, we will now begin today's panel. Our guest of honor is Goro Akechi. I feel kind of bad considering how many people have gathered. I'm sure you all would have been happier to have a singer or a mascot appear, wouldn't you say? We'd appreciate if you could tell us about your experiences with the notorious Phantom Thieves. It'd be wonderful if you could let us hear more about your actual investigative process. I'm not used to being the one interrogated, so please go easy on me. How much do you think he knows? He talks about the Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why, it's as if you're a prosecutor. Uh, excuse me. This is something I've personally been interested in, so I couldn't help it. But won't you tell us? What reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust? Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer. She's pelting him with questions. Every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals, including Okumura. Why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that, that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing! Pipe down! He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, very well. I'd like to ask you then, who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi san? That idiot! No. There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are. Oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes.
Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shopped! I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too, yes? It's not just all of you. I am aware of that world too. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. I'll take your silence as confirmation. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this... We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana. Our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, or we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure, and those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> well, there's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. Along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? 
The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well... She may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just because they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone, though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately... There's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? I see. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back. About that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. Everybody. 
post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? Then why don't we go together? Festivals don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, Senpai! And now, it's time for your favorite Shuji tradition! The Student Sharing Special! <sighs> but, before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all! Members of the dance club, come on down! Standing around while everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it! Yoshizawa-san, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Got it. I'm in. Senpai, I'll be back soon. They've asked me to help them with something. Just wait here and watch what happens. Exhausting, but what a blast! I feel like I danced my heart out back there. <sighs> hey, 
Thank you. Wow, that dance was amazing. I know, right? I was totally blown away. <laughs> It's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Thank you. I'll be alright, though. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon! Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just Akechi, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go. The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. 
Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I had to leave it. But I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. First, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow. I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. Think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking that one of these days she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? <sighs> you know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months? And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. 
What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on. Time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. We're gonna win, no matter what. 